hello everyone and welcome back to my channel i want to say a very big thank you to all of my subscribers the old subscribers and the new one if you have not subscribed to my channel please subscribe like my video share my video and if you like what i'm doing don't forget to just give me a a, a hit on the like button to let me know that you actually like what i did with this video so today actually i'm going to be teaching you how to draft a basic bodice you can see what i'm putting on this is just a basic bodice you can use it for anything for a simple gown like this you can make use of it you just bring it out place it and then you're good to go if you want to make uh, a, a a top you can still make use of it if you want to make a half cut maybe for like a peplum skirt and blouse you can still make use of it all you have to do is just you reduce so it is very necessary in sewing and it is good it is easy just have it you can create your own follow this my illustration and create your own basic bodies and then you, you keep it aside anytime you want to cut if your customer maybe they want to sew a free gown like this you can just bring it out and sharp you're good to go so like i said let me not talk too much let's just go so actually I've made out uh, a pattern as in lines to indicate the different segments of the, the bodies. The first part, this is the, the shoulder line. This is the shoulder line. I just made the line here to indicate as the shoulder line. I left half an inch here. So this half an inch will always serve as your seam allowance for the shoulder. Then this part is the chest line. This chest line and the chest basic measurements as in like standard measurement is always eight is always um between eight and nine inches for so this is standard measurement for measurement of your chest it has been working and it works nine you can use eight and a half but nine is okay then the the measurement i'll be making use of the, the breast point that's this mid point that's the, this mid point is actually let me measure to double check okay it's 11 inches that's this midpoint then those parts is 15 that's the under part of the bust is 15 inches then the this under part is 15 inches then the waist this is like standard as in from your shoulder line to this part is 19 that's for people like that are average height so but people that are taller you can make use of 20 inches as in for people that are tall then for the hip measurement like i always say in most of my videos from the the waist that's this part you add nine inches so this midpoint this is your hip measurement it is standard it has been working i've been making use of it and it has really been working for me you just add nine inches so this midpoint now that's this hip part of this body so now let's start imputing the measurement so the measurement i'm actually going to be working with today is i'm going to be making use of bust the bust is going to be 36 while the under bust is going to be 30. so the the bust uh, uh, this is the breast point which is like as in which is like the mid mid part of the breast so it's not a bust here so so it's just like the the mid point of the breast so i'll just call it mid point of the of the then the waist that's this part is actually 34 inches then the the shoulder i'll be working with today is going to be 16 inches so i'll begin like this by measuring out my shoulder measurement i'll measure it when you you measure you divide into two so i'm gonna make use of eight inches for my shoulder i told you initially i said it's 16 inches when you divide this is for big for beginners if you can just go out i always challenge you go out if you, you just started sewing go out buy fabric follow this illustration and make look at this beautiful gown i'm putting on with pockets can't you see and just make for yourself and look good so you fold that's why we're folding actually let, let me get serious eight inches eight inches because my fabric is folded in total, my paper is folded in total, so I just assume it's fabric. So I have 8 inches here. Then for the chest line too, I'll still continue with my 8 inches like this. And then now I'll take my ruler. 
take my short ruler and then connect my lines like this my eight inches line I just connect it like this so now i'll be cutting out the neck so i'll be making use of three inches as you can see it's just a small neck so the the width i'll make use of three inches for as in that's from here to here that's the width for beginners three inches then the depth so i'll just make use of uh, like let me say three three point five that's three and a half inch so this is the point for the three and a half i just use, make use of my my french core if you don't have french curve, you can make use of your hands or you can look for even anything that has curve you can just improvise you must not have a french curve so this is it so you know that our shoulder most times why we normally slant shoulder that's for beginners is if you don't slant your shoulder for like a dress like this you have automatic shoulder parts as in you know this shoulder parts in those days yeah, my, my mom used to sew they used to push shoulder part like this on their chest <laughs> so i'll use half an inch like this half an inch i want to slant it down by half an inch you can you can actually slant by one but me i just want to you i always like using half and it has been working for me so i'll just put the half inch like this then from this my neckline point I'll connect it straight. I'll just slant it a bit. So this is it, just like this, like I said. Some people they like making use of one, but me, yeah, I want to make use of. I like making use of half. So for me now to get my to impute my measurement now before I come back to the armhole. So for the 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 middle part. I'll be making use of four inches for this middle part. I'll be making use of four inches. So I'll just take my my tape like this. As you can see, this board is like I told you. I say it's basically for just all this kind of normal free clothes. But when you want, if you want it to make it to a shape here one, so you have to to tie it, you adjust a bit. So I'll make use of four inches like this. I just put my four inch point here and then work work it down four inch four inch but when I get to my under bust part I'm not going to be making use of four inch I'll increase it why okay I'll I'll tell you later let me just go so four inch this four inch is basically for for that so what i'll be doing now from this um, breast point line like this this four inch is actually for that this is it's just like this you can use four and a half so but i want to use four for this so i'll connect the line i'll just rule the straight line from this breast point down to my hip line so i'll just take my my ruler like this you can make use of one half like i said for people that are a little bit bust here yeah? like i said from this uh, breast point i i used the uh, four inches for my for my dart line four inches you can decide to make use of one and a half i told you so it depends on what you want so now what i'm going to be doing now from this to waistline i'll take i'll place my tape like this on this one inch like this i'll take half an inch here half an inch to this side and then half an inch to this side that's from the waist part to now i'm imputing my darts now this half an inch here half an inch here from the waist part so now i'll be connecting this half an inch now to this bust line and then connect this half an inch to this but before then my dart is actually going to stop 
actually going to stop is from the bust line point is one and a half you just take mark one and a half point here then from the hip line you mark another one and a half here so that is where like the dart is going to stop so now i'll take my my ruler like this and connect those points like this So the next thing now is I'm going to be putting my my measurement into into this. But before then, for me, in order for me to get where I was drafting my ample curve from, I'll just take my my tape like this and get to the middle part of my ample. So what I have here is eight. So the middle point is four. I'll just mark it like this, and then come out half an inch like this you can decide to come out one inch but I'm gonna be coming one half an inch like this half an inch like this so I'll take my ample measurement sorry my I'm actually going to be extending it but let me get the the bust measurement first like i said i said that i'll be making use of 36 when you divide 36 into 4 you have 9 so you take it like this from your chest line like this and place here this is 9 inches this is 9 inches so i'll extend like this if you are working on a fabric always remember to add your allowance to it always add your allowance but this is not a fabric so this is like a pattern so i'm not going to be adding any allowance to it so the the next point now is the 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 waist part the waist point so for the waist points like i told you i said the waist is 34 which is eight and a half so i'll just take my tape like this and place it here like this remember this middle part this waist part you know i took out one inch for for the dart so eight and a half so when i add that one inch back i'll have nine and a half so it's going to be like this nine and a half so for the hip um, down part the hip part i'm going to be making use of 44 which is 11. so now that is it so i'll connect my lines You can just extend it down as you can see. As you can see, the pattern is already there. But note that this part is not like it's really sharp, sharp like this. So it's curved. A little bit curved like this. So now I'm going to be cutting out. As you can see, this is my basic bodies. You can use this for this gown, this kind of gown that I'm putting on. Like I said, beginners, you you just started sewing. You come you come on YouTube to 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 get us and to learn how to sew. Just go get yourself some pattern paper like this, and then follow this illustration. Make out a a draft like this for your normal basic bodies. It, and you are good to go anytime you want to make use of it if you want to make use of the 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 the, the as in maybe you want to make a peplum blouse half blouse you can that is half cut you can just stop here like this and you stop you know you know that you just follow the, the, the measurement where i put the measurement into them follow them like that for your for your under bust your waist and then your full length just go try your own make your pattern you can 
if you're having any question you can always ask me like i said just drop a, a, a comment for me down down below in the comment section so if you have not subscribed please subscribe to my channel like my video 